Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgamerman.com. This next question is, how do you properly apply thermal compound to a CPU? Well, the first thing you need to do is remove any excess or existing thermal compound from the CPU and or heatsink if you're going to be reusing the heatsink. To do so, just get a lint free cloth and some 99% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Dab a little bit of the rubbing alcohol on the cloth and proceed to clean any of the thermal compound off the CPU and or the heatsink if you're going to be reusing it. Now there are really three ways to apply a thermal compound correctly. The first one is a couple of blobs in the center of the CPU and then put the heatsink on top. The other one is to draw a thin line with the thermal compound across the cores on the CPU and then put the heatsink on top. And the other one, the one that I prefer, is to put a couple of blobs in the center and then spread that thermal compound out. To do so, just put a couple blobs of thermal compound in the center of the CPU. The amount is probably equal to a couple grains of rice. Then you can use some food wrap or a clear see-through plastic bag. Stretch it over your finger and then just use your finger to spread out the thermal compound evenly and thinly all over the surface of the CPU and then you can put the heat sink on top and then connect the fan into the motherboard's fan header. You can also use a credit card if you want to to spread the thermal compound evenly over the whole surface of the CPU. And remember, never to get foreign objects into the thermal compound. I hope this answers your question and keep your questions coming.